This is a review of Kaboom Foamtastic OxyClean Spray. Uh, it was advertised. The bottle cost about $4.29 at the store. So it's under five bucks for it. Um, and I am going to test it on my bathroom to see how good it cleans. Uh, to give you an idea, this is what my shower looks like. So this is a buildup of about six months. It's not exactly, that. that's all pink, like that gooey mold, and then that's stuck in the tiles. And then in the corner of the grout is pretty nasty. This is the actual grouter here. The black, that's not mold, but there is mold in it. So, and then of course the glass is not very clean. You can't see through it very well. So I'm spraying on and let's see what it, how it works. Show the bottom how scummy it is and the colors, how they don't quite match up. Okay, I just did a round on my one wall. So I can show you both walls and how they look different. That's a big difference. That took two tries though. That was not one try. Um, it's harder to get in the corners as you can see, but the main grout in the middle is clean. So I sprayed it all over like it's told me to, six to eight inches away. Let it wait until it went white and then clean it off. Now around this was, you see in the corners here, so I'm guessing the tool that I used, which was a magic eraser, wasn't quite good enough. And then over here where the mold was the thickest was the hardest. Now the glass, it doesn't really look it, but that is cleaner. There's not as many spots on it. Um, the, the metal is shinier, I give it that, it, before I could even see this reflection in it. Um, if I had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, this is the bottom. Now the sides were very easy, but right here where it starts to get textured, that didn't come up. It's better, but it's not perfect. So this is the part I did not do. So do you see the difference between that and that? It is better, but it's still not exactly perfect. And before the wall, all that pink is pretty much gone. Um, if there is any, it's very little, and it's in the corners where it's harder to reach. So my complaints about the material is this is the lemon scent here, the fresh scent, I'm sorry, the fresh scent one that I bought. And I've used about half a can almost to get these little walls. I still have this half of the wall to do. You can see when I step back the clear difference from where I did it and where I didn't do it. On the right is what I did use the foam cleaner on. On the left is what I did not. So you can see a difference, but overall it's still not the greatest. I have a problem with this. Even though I rinsed it off with water like I was supposed to, this is a problem, having it sit around like that and not do anything. Also, it's I don't know if it's a bleaching thing that I need to use or what, but I can't get the stains off the bottom up like I would like. Um, they're up a little bit, but not nearly. As you can see on the right is where I used the product. On the left is where I did not. So again, you can see a difference, but not enough. So if on a scale of one to 10, 10 being brand new, you can't tell I cleaned it or it's ever been used. One being it's been never cleaned in years and it's a hoarding situation. After using it, I give this product about a five, five and a half. Reason being because of the leftover residue, the smell is um, that toxic chemical smell. So the fan must be on and stay on until you run it out and the smell dissipates. And then the cleaning and the corners and stuff um, is the stuff. And to give you an idea, this was a brand new eraser, magic eraser. And this is what's left of it just by cleaning the one half. So I did various screening. I did do it multiple times on the corners. It wasn't just the once. And 
it got it up, but at the same time, I've had to work really hard to get it. So I hope this helps with your buying decisions. Have a blessed day.